Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week I am going to try to keep it short. Um, my illustration is also pretty short as well, um, just because I've got some plans and I will be a little bit busy. So I'm going to dive head first um, into it right away. Um, the three lessons that I learned this week is one, you don't need permission to be yourself. Uh, two, letting go of expectations. And then three, commitment versus interest. So starting off at uh, number one, you don't need permission to be yourself. Um, I think this sort of came up when, I mean, it was slowly built over time when I realized that I don't need permission to create that art that I want, or I don't need someone else's approval um, or, fr or phrase to have good art or even make good art. Um, I think there's this I idea just in general with me where I'm always waiting for someone else's permission in order to feel okay about something that I do or to feel like yes I can do this or yes I can be an illustrator or yes I can be an artist or yes I am a designer and it feels like you don't really need to ask for permissions and to me those lines are a little bit more blurred between art and design because I'm a little bit of both and together they make a whole me I guess <laughs> um, but I suppose it just dawned upon me that I don't need permission to be myself or even start a new project. In fact, when I don't wait for permission, I can just immediately get started on whatever I need to do. And I think there's just a little less worrying about whether this is right or not. The whole point is just to get something out there, to get something done, to start shipping. Um, so that's why this lesson has been kind of important this week. Um, but, but moving on to the next lesson, uh, letting go of expectations. So this year I had a lot planned out, probably way more than I can handle. And um, for the past month and maybe first week of February, I've been slowly chipping away at all of the expectations that I set myself um, from last year. The truth is, I will likely be able to accomplish way less, maybe one-tenth of what I set out um, from last year, just because um, as I, you know, live my day, um, I realize that certain things just end up taking a lot longer, um, and that's perfectly normal. I think that's just the process, and that I just need to curb my expectations to match the output than I am, you know, able to do. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having expectations or even setting these very high goals and then cutting back on them um, because I at least have a direction in life. Um, and then it's just a matter of, okay, what can I, what can I really handle this year? And, you know, what can I move toward next year? Um, what can I cut back on and what can I keep or focus on? Um, and I find that having less expectations just makes it the process a lot easier for me to get through. It makes making art a lot more enjoyable. Um, and it makes this journey just a whole lot better. And I'm a big believer in just going with flow right now. Um, working with the exact skills that I have um, because I can be quite future oriented. And I think being present and letting go of the expectations of the future and focusing right now on this present moment and what I can really create right now and um, the kind of work that I can do right now, which I don't think is half bad, um, I think is something that was important that I needed to be reminded of this week. So the last lesson I want to talk about is commitment versus interest. And this goes a little bit into how you want to design your life or how you want to feel in life. Um, this is really something that I struggled with a lot of my life because I can be bored very easily. And so I have many interests, but I don't commit to any single thing. But over the years and now, I do realize that I am very interested in art and that I'm committed to bringing my art to a much higher level of execution. So I am committed to that in a sense. But it's not just about saying that I am committed, it's about acting that way. It's about showing up every single day, even when I don't want to. 
And it's about the being present in that moment. Because there's no point in showing up, but being distracted by, you know, YouTube videos or social media or music that you're listening to, and not even giving your full attention to the task that you are doing. So to me, the commitment part also includes my um, includes mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical commitment, and how I want to experience all of these levels when I am creating art. I think to me that is what I consider commitment, because when I am committed. I sit down and I do the work. I am diligent in paying attention. Um, I'm emotionally and mentally connecting to the work that I'm doing. Um, I say spiritually, but I think to me it's because I have a bit of a spiritual background. So there's a little, it's a little bit of a tie into the art that I that I make. So it doesn't have to apply to everybody, but to me, spirituality ties into my creativity. Um, and so that part is also commitment for me too, um, and then physically committed. Um, you know, I'm just there, present, showing up, taking action. Um, so yeah, um, that would be at least for me commitment versus interest. Um, I'm no longer just doing the work whenever I feel like it. I'm showing up every single day and being an actively an active student, learning all the lessons that I need to learn and. It's, always, you know, going in and making sure that I understand everything or that if I don't understand something that I write it down and then I can address it later. It's just slowly making these little progress, um, getting 1% better every single day. And I think that's what matters the most is um, what's been keeping me going is just, you know, am I a better person today than I was yesterday? Did my art slightly, at least slightly improve today? And if that's true, then that's great. I at least accomplish what I have set out for the day. Even though it's very minuscule, it'll eventually add up over time. And just trusting that process is very key to showing up every single day. So that's all I have for this week. Um, I know I'm kind of rambling towards the end here. Um, but if you tuned in this week, then thank you very much. Um, if you... <laughs> like what you saw then please like and subscribe and um yeah i'll catch you next time thank you bye bye